Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up the pool balls that we'll need for a big project, how we can make that, make them ready so we can put numbers on them. This is going to involve three layers. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a separate little simple white document to start with. Now on this document, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and put in, I should probably change it because I need to use the white color, and it'll be hard to see, so I'll go ahead and keep the pool table color for right now. Okay? Now in this particular one, what I'm going to do is create one um, group for the stripe balls and one group for the solid. And each of those is going to involve a few things. Now first of all, I will change my tool to the oval tool. Now, I want these to be white, so I'm going to go ahead and hold the shift key down, and the size I've been using, let me double check and see my sizes. This one's um, not giving me the right size, let me click once on it, there's my size, 57 by 57, I think I was using 45 by 45 for the ball size. Okay, you might have been using 40 by 40, whatever size works best for you. Now what I need to do is to do some colors with this. Now I do have some color options in a few places. So I'm going to um, do a restore down on this one. And I'm gonna quickly take a quick look and look up the um, pool table balls. Pool rack colors, okay? And if I go to images, it's probably gonna give me some basic ideas. So I can move this aside a little bit, and I can see some of them. This one's not bad here, this middle one. Okay, I'll keep that kind of handy so I can see some. So I know that the, the lower number balls are solid, and the upper numbers are going to be striped. So they start actually with nine. And here's my nine down here. It looks like it's got a yellow oval and then a white around it. So I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to make a new layer. And for this one, I need to use what's called the Rectangle Primitive Tool. Okay? Now, in this case, I'm going to go ahead, and as I start to draw it, I know the color I want to use. And my color options are not... Here's my color. The 9 looks like it's kind of a yellowish, not bright yellow, but maybe kind of a... Um, Oh, let's find close to it. That's pretty good right there, FFCC. So I'll draw that right here. Now, in order to get this to be the right size, I know for sure the width only needs to be 45, so I'll use the exact width. And would this be a little bit... Uh, halfway would be 22.5, half of 45. Now, for the angle, I want to go ahead and put some corners in there. So if I go ahead here and put in 10 and see what the angle looks like. That might work. Let's see how that looks inside. I'll use the arrows to get close. That's not too bad. Okay, maybe I have to get a little closer, smaller moves. So that's okay. That's pretty good there. The next thing I have to do is a small diameter ball. So I want to get, and I'm going to do actually four layers in this one. The next thing I will do is to, is to do another oval tool the white, because that has to go inside, and this one has to be kind of small, and so size-wise, I'll click once on there. Right now it's 24. I think I'm going to make it 20 by 20. And that's going to go inside. Oh, I forgot to do something very important. I forgot to make a new layer, so I'm going to take that layer before I combine it. I'm going to hit um, Control X to cut it, make a new layer, and then Control V. I could have done paste in place, but it wasn't that important here. Okay? All right, now I haven't yet made any symbols, so I might have to be careful with that. I might want to go ahead and um, look at a couple options for that, but I'm going to change this to a symbol because I think I'm going to need it. I'm going to go back to each one and convert it to a symbol. Graphic symbol for that one. Graphic symbol for that one. And since that's right above it, it should do fine. This, I make a symbol out of this.
All right, the last thing I need is a number. Okay, so I've got three layers so far. This is my uh, big white. This is my stripe. This is my small white. Okay, my next layer will be a text layer. I put in the number nine inside there. Now, with this particular, I don't want to get real fancy. I want this to be pretty small, no bigger, maybe 10, maybe I'll try 12. And I don't want it to be, I want it to be really simple text, so I don't want anything fancy. I think um, if I can find Arial is a pretty good common one, I'll go with Arial as far as a regular size. And I'll try to put it in here. I could put it aside, and this should be black letters. And I'll type in the 9. Now, somehow it didn't get black. I forgot to do that part, so I'll come up here and make sure it's black. I might not have gotten black. Let's see. There it is. There's my 9. Now, I probably should have centered it. So over here in the format, I can center it. I can also make this other part go a little bit smaller. That doesn't look too bad. I could make it a little bit bolder, perhaps, if I use the T tool and click inside there and highlight it. I can give it a little more oomph. So that would be under um, under style. Let's say bold to see if it works OK. I can say black, too, and see if that's even better. That's not bad. Now, the ball itself, we see, has a underline underneath to separate it. But I'm not going to get too worried about that. All right, now a couple things I want to do. I want to see if I can align these together. So if I, go, if I highlighted them all, I just went to the upper left-hand corner, drag diagonally. Modify, align, horizontal center. Modify, align, vertical center. That centers everything pretty nicely. That doesn't look too bad. Now, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and copy the separate layers, Control-C, and I'm going to go ahead and convert this whole thing to a symbol. OK, so it's all one. And now it moves together. Nothing's going to change it. All right, I'm going to paste in the previous one. Now, the, I'm going to take a few things apart. I'll have to put them back together later. But now, I could try clicking on that. And the problem with this is it needs to be a different color. So if I look over here for the 10, I think this is the 10 back here, OK, which has a blue background. So I need to change two things. I need to change the background color here. And I need to change that the, the number to 10. So I'm going to break this apart. I'm going to change the color to blue, and then I'm going to make a symbol out of it again. I might not need to, actually. Let me see if I can do it without it, because if I can work without symbols, it'll make it easier in my next view. OK? Double-click inside there and change that 9 to a 10. Oh, now, the 10's two digits, so I might want to make it a little bit wider. Come on. All right, I might be in trouble here on the 10. Let's see if I can move it small bits with my mouse so it centers. That's not too bad. Good. Once that's done, in order to use this 10, I'm going to convert that to a symbol. So now the 10's all set. All right. I still have um, my 9 pasted in, so I'm going to paste that in. OK. I will grab my yellow. Do a right click on it. Notice I had to. Just, I want to just get that rectangle thing, so I was careful to grab it in that spot. So I'm going to break that apart so I can change the color. Now the 11 ball. Where's the 11? There's probably some better views of it, but I think 13 said this must be 11 back here. Looks like kind of a reddish color. There's one up here. I can see it a little bit better. So 11 looks like it's pretty much red inside. So if I click on here, I go back to here to traditional red. That's not too bad. I'll click on the 9 itself. So I forgot to come up here and say text on this layer. But if you click close to the 9, you can kind of get in there and go to 11. It might have been worthwhile for me to copy the, um, the, the other project, the 10, to see if I can work that through. That way I won't have, because all the, the, all the following numbers are going to be doubled numbers. Let me go ahead and make sure everything's centered. Modify, align, horizontal center. Modify, align, 
vertical center. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy this before I convert it to a symbol. Control C, convert to symbol, so it's all one. It won't be a group of layers. It'll be the, this could be pasted and has one object. I'll paste a third one in, sorry, a fourth one, and I'll grab just that. Now, because I did not change that, I went ahead and kept it as a drawing object. I won't have to change that too much. Now I want to find the 12. If I go over here, I can find a 12 in a couple of places, I think. Let's see, 14, 13, 10. There's 12 back there, kind of a dark blue. Or is it a full? No, 10's a regular blue. 12 is kind of a darker blue. So I'll come over here, find kind of a dark blue, maybe something like that. It's a little close to the other, but it might work. It's close. It's, it's different enough from the 10. All right, click on the 11. And I have to probably use the T tool to help me with that. I just want to change the 1 to a 2. And that looks pretty good since I've already aligned it. I don't think I have to do anything else. I'm going to convert that to a symbol. Next, I'll paste in another. And I'll go through the process again. I will find the color for 13. 13 is this sort of, oh, I guess that's kind of a between a yellow and an orange somewhere in there. Maybe orange itself would be fine. So I'll, find, I'll click on the stripe part, find a decent orange that's close to what that one is. Kind of a burnt orange. I don't want that. I want a more of a brighter orange. That's not bad. That's kind of close to what the 13 is. Good. And then if you're careful, you can get in there. Now, you don't double click. You have to make sure you're on the T tool before you can change that 11 to a 13. Good. I don't need to make any other changes. I'm going to convert that to a symbol. Move that aside. I need two more. I paste in my previous one. It remembers the pasting. I got to find 14. Here's 14 with green. I click on the stripe. Make sure that's a good green. I think it's kind of a Kelly green, so it'd be, um, I'm looking right above it as a matter of fact, and I can see it needs to be kind of a darker, maybe more of a forest green. That one might work. That's probably really close to the color of the table, so that's a little tricky. Then I'll click, I'll click on my T tool, click once inside there, highlight the one, change it to a four. Marquee around that, convert that to a symbol. One more, and I'll be set with this group of balls. So I'll paste in what I have, Control-V. I find the 15 color. Looks like a maroon. So I click once on the stripe, find kind of a maroonish color. That's almost there. Let's see, maybe it's closer to this. It might be closer to something like that. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Click once on the T tool. Change that 11 to a 15. Go back to my selection tool. Convert that to a symbol. Okay, so that's a quick. That's a video on just the striped balls. I'll stop this one and make another one for the the next group of balls. Thank you.